What's up my stat stars? In this video, we're gonna talk about how to do a one sample T interval for a population mean on the T84 calculator, making your life super easy. Now, first, let's quickly review the steps for a one sample T interval for a population mean. Of course, we have to name the interval and describe in context what it is we're trying to find. We gotta check those conditions necessary for a T distribution to be used. Then the step to actually build the interval is right here, but this is the step we're gonna use our calculator for. And then of course, we have to interpret the interval in context. Now, here's the question we're going to take a look at. What is the mean amount of time a name brand AAA battery lasts? To find out, Becky selects a random sample of 55 name brand AAA batteries and runs them each in a flashlight until the flashlight no longer operates. She records the time each of the 55 batteries lasts and gets the mean and standard deviation of her sample. The mean of her sample is 348.7 minutes with a standard deviation of 23.8 minutes. And we're asked to construct a 99% confidence interval for the population mean. Now, here's what we know. We know the mean of our sample was 348.7. The standard deviation of our sample is 23.8. And our sample size was 55. These are the statistics that we're going to need to conduct the, the interval. Now, we also need to know our level of confidence, in this case, 99%. Now let's briefly walk through the steps and we'll show you how your calculator can do it all. Step one, you have to name it. This is such a pivotal step. This is a one sample T interval for the mean amount of time in minutes that all name brand AAA batteries will last in the mentioned flashlight. Gotta have that context. Then we gotta check those boring conditions. Hope everybody knows them by now, but we gotta make sure we check those conditions that way we have independence and that we also have a sample that's big enough. Now here is the work by hand to actually construct the interval, but we're gonna show you so your calculator could do all of it. So first on your calculator, you're gonna hit stat, you're gonna slide over to test, and then we're looking for a T interval. Now I know we call this a one sample T interval, but the calculator doesn't have one sample T interval anywhere on there. It just has T interval, so it's option eight. Now you might wanna say, well, what's a Z interval? Well, if you know the population standard deviation, then you don't need T. But the only standard deviation we know in this problem is that of our sample, and that's why T interval is gonna be much more accurate. So if we click on T interval there, we actually have an option to do data or stats. Now we weren't given the actual data. The actual data would be how long each of those 55 flashlights lasted. We were just given the statistics. So we wanna make sure the inputs are statistics. Then we're just gonna enter in all that information that we were given in the problem. The mean was 348.7 minutes. The standard deviation was 23.8 minutes and the sample size was 55. And then of course we have to tell the level of confidence. We were asked to do a 99% confidence interval. So we're gonna put 0 0.99 there. Hit calculate and whoop, I hit it too fast. Sorry about that <laughs> stat. Go over to test. Cool thing is it saves it. So if I go back to that T interval, all of that stuff should still be there. Yes, it is. Go down the calculate and don't hit it twice like I did. And boom, there is the interval. Now you might notice it's slightly different than mine. I mean, not much to be honest, but the calculator is always gonna be a little bit more accurate. Now, don't forget the final step is to, of course, interpret that interval. I'm 99% confident that the population mean time that a name brand AAA battery will last in this flashlight mentioned is somewhere between 340.13 minutes and 357.27 minutes. Very, very, very simple. Now, let me just walk you through a quick problem where you can actually use the data. Here's another quick problem. We're trying to estimate the mean systolic blood pressure of teenage athletes while they're at rest. So we get a sample of 22 male teenage athletes and we get their blood pressures. And we're asked to construct a 95% confidence interval. Now notice in this problem, we're not given the statistics, we're given the data. So if this happens, all you gotta do is go to your calculator, hit stat, edit, and make sure that you enter in all of those values into one of your lists. So again, stat edit is where you can enter data into lists. So I entered all of the data into list one. Then when I go to stat and slide over to test and select T interval, now I'm going to select data. So when I select that data, you'll notice the first thing it asks me is where's your data? And it should default to list one, but if it doesn't say list one, just hit second number one to get list one. So it's gonna look at list one for the data. The frequency should be one, meaning each of those uh, data points were represented by one. And then don't forget to put the confidence level of 0.99 and hit calculate and it's gonna do all of the work for you. Boom, there is the interval. So I'm 95% confident that the mean systolic blood pressure of male athletes while at rest is somewhere between 110.33 and 118.95. Nice and simple whether you're gonna use your data or your stats to use your calculator.